Good morning, folks. Today begins the Mobile Observatory project, and as we take in the size perspective of the plasma filament departing the Earth-facing disk on the north, we stand in a period of relative calm both on the Sun and here on Earth. Before that, however, Chapter 1 of the Starwater series broke down the proof that Pluto is 75% water ice, an ice ball, and now we find that his moon may have a frozen ocean. According to Starwater, it absolutely does, and so do most Kuiper and trans-Neptunian objects. Back to our calm Earth. No big quaking, but indeed the area on a line with the now extinguished Arabian Sea storm took another moderate tremor that again hit 6 on multiple readers, but was downgraded. The other moderate tremor of the day sits on a line where Hurricane Christina came from, which, by the way, is now down to Category 1 and weakening as it heads west. It is indeed creepy how well the Uyen system works, isn't it? Even down to the seismicity. Meanwhile, we have another low brewing in the South China Sea, going to need some major ramping factors before it becomes a serious system. Let's use the precipitable water overlay to illuminate the hydration at the convergence line in the South Atlantic, flood watch where it meets the coastline. Quickly looking at the precipitable water overlay for Australia and New Zealand here. Storms fired up in Eastern Europe and continued popping to the South and Central regions. Meanwhile, the next Atlantic low is within visibility here. And wherever this convergence line going north is found at sunset, that's where the storms will be in the U.S. Stay alert this evening. Solar flaring on a major decline here. The departing sunspots gave us a good bye before leaving, but nothing like the earlier X flares, and now they're all but gone. The central spots lost their central delta as it spread. North is still separated and spread, while the south incoming lost his delta that made the X flares, and his condensing of the region occurs. Took two gamma bursts already this morning, one from near the southern celestial axis and another from Pegasus. Looking at the solar wind, it appears the glancing blow has arrived and it was indeed very weak. The proton density was kind of solid, but with barely any speed. Nothing more than a KP of three and a few jitters on the sensitive meters there. Calm sun, calming storms, calm seismicity. Enjoy it while it lasts. Current conditions and shots of our star to close, including a dancing water spout share uploaded to LiveLeak. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.